Time TV news at noon begins with breaking news. Right now, three people are dead after a massive crash on I-70. It happened just before 9 o'clock this morning. At least 15 others were taken to the hospital. We do want to give you a live look at the area right now. The crash happened in West Licking County. That is south of Pataskala. And right now, all lanes of I-70 are closed at State Route 310 as multiple crews respond to this crash. We thank you for joining us for 10 TV News at noon today. I'm Tracy Townsend. And I'm Angela Ann. We are awaiting a press conference from the Highway Patrol and we'll bring you that when it happens. But we just mm -hmm. learned in the last 30 minutes, the bus was headed to the Ohio School Board Association Conference in Columbus. That conference was canceled just minutes ago. And we'll give you the full statement in just a moment. Let's start, though, with our live team coverage. Gabriela Garcia is tracking the closure and how this is impacting traffic. Carly Dion and Kevin Landers are both at local hospitals where more than a dozen people have been taken. And Amy Steigerwald is live near the crash site. We do want to begin with Lacey Crisp, who has been out on the scene for hours now. Lacey, this fiery crash required multiple agencies from two counties. Yeah, it really is a devastating scene. There's no other way to describe it. You can see just behind me a couple of those very large tow trucks just arrived on the scene. Now, if my photographer Rich can pan over, you can see that red vehicle that appears to be facing the wrong way. It looks like it is smashed up against that semi that you can see is burned out. And there's that charter bus that's that bus that's right in front of it. You can only imagine what is going through that those parents minds of those those band students who were on their way to Columbus when this crash happened, this fiery crash. I talked to a semi truck driver who was just behind this crash when it all happened. He didn't see the crash happen itself, but he told me he's been driving truck for 10 years in this region and he's never seen any destruction like this. Well, we didn't see much at first. As we were coming up the road, we heard something coming over the CB saying, oh, there's a wreck up ahead. So we started to slow down, and as we were getting closer, I saw smoke coming way up ahead of us. So as we were coming down to, uh, to a stop, I exited my vehicle, kind of went up and looked up the side, and I saw several tractor trailers, well, one tractor trailer for sure on fire, a car on fire, and they were trying to pull people out of a bus. Yeah, so traffic was backed up for miles. That semi truck driver that I spoke with was able to get turned around and get out of this area about an hour ago. The Licking County Sheriff's Office and the Ohio State Highway Patrol are doing their best to clear the traffic from this area as safely as they can so that workers, reconstruction crews, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, hazmat crews can clear up this area and so they can answer some of those questions for us. What happened? How did this crash happen? And to tell us just how many people are going to be impacted. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Lacey, thank you. We want to get to 10 TV's Amy Steigerwald now. She's on State Route 310. That's west of the crash. Amy. Yeah, I'm a little bit west of where Lacey is at right now. You can see this crash kind of behind me. Actually, you can see that both lanes of traffic still shut down, both in those east and westbound lanes of I-70. And from where I'm at right now, we've seen crews come and go from the scene. EMS hazmat crews for the past three hours or so since we arrived here. Uh, and again, still working to learn all of the details, exactly what led up to this. We've also seen a CODA bus, uh, two CODA buses, I should say, and and two school buses come to the scene to help carry uh, stu people who were on board this bus away. This is a look right here uh, at this crash from above that our drone 10 video uh, captured. You can see just how extensive the damage is and how many first responders are on the scene still working this crash. We're still working to learn exactly how long the highway will be shut down for because it doesn't appear that there is a timeline on when things will reopen. But where I'm at right now on State Route 310 is where uh, traffic is being diverted off to. We've seen uh, traffic trying to move through getting diverted off of I-70 from the eastbound lanes on the other side of the camera that I'm talking to you on right now. There is backed up traffic that is being diverted off of the freeway right now as crews continue to remain on scene. Again, we've confirmed three people are dead and uh, many more that have been injured, at least 15 people. And of course, we're going to continue to follow this. We'll let you know once we learn more. For now, I'm 
I'm live reporting live Amy Steigerwald for 10 TV News. All right, Amy, thank you. And our team coverage continues now with Kevin Landers. Kevin, you've been at Grant Medical Center all morning long. That's right. Ohio Health confirms that five people from that crash were taken to Ohio Health hospitals. We did see two transports. I'll take you to some video that we shot. This is just before 930 this morning as we captured the first two transports from this accident. One was from Violet Township and the other was from Granville Fire. We do not know the conditions of the people that were taken here, but we're told that Ohio Health did tr treat at least five people here at Grant Hospital downtown. I'm now going to send it to Carla Dion, who's at Mount Carmel East, with more on that story from her perspective. Carly. Kevin, Kevin, as you were saying, we're learning more about those 15 people who were injured and that they were taken to five area hospitals, including Mount Carmel facilities. We're here now at Mount Carmel East Hospital, where we believe some of those victims may have been taken. And now within the last hour, we received a statement from Mount Carmel stating we can confirm that following this morning's crash involving a bus and semi on I-70 in Licking County, injured individuals are being treated at Mount Carmel facilities. Facilities. To protect patient privacy, we cannot release any additional information at this time. And again, that is all we know about those who were injured, but we will continue to keep you updated on the condition of these patients as we learn more. For now, live at Mount Carmel East, Carly Dion, 10 TV News. All right, Carly, thank you. And we are learning more about the students on board that deadly bus crash this morning. 10 TV's Clay Gordon joins us now in studio with details on that. Well, good afternoon. T 10 TV confirmed students involved in this crash were from Tuscarora's Valley Local Schools. Now we're hearing more from the school right now. The school district superintendent says in a statement posted on Facebook, quote, a charter bus carrying Tusky Valley students and chaperones on the way to the Ohio School Boards Association Conference in Columbus was involved in a very serious accident. It went on to say that right now our focus is on getting in touch with our Tusky Valley families who had loved ones on the bus. Now, Dr. Varancey says the next coming days for the school district will be, quote, challenging. Here's a look at where they were heading. The Ohio School Board Association, the school district is located up in Mineral City, Ohio. They were heading to the conference at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. As you can see from the map, the crash happened on I-70 in Licking County, 25 miles away from the convention center. Tracy and Angela, we just learned that this conference has been canceled for today. All right, thank you so much for that update. A lot of um, after effects. This is a domino effect of yes. all of this tragedy this morning. We uh, are going to continue our team coverage and we'll talk about the traffic impact. Let's get over to Gabriela Garcia because Gabby, you first spotted this crash just as it happened right before 9 a.m. Yeah, good afternoon, you guys. And it was a big plume of spoke from both vehicles involved there and hours later you see the impact still very much apparent in really both directions of I-70 here at 310 due to that crash due to those ensuing vehicle fires that happened. So we do know like we've mentioned repeatedly throughout the morning as we've been covering this I-70 shut down in both directions at State Route 310 where the crash happened. But the detours are kind of different if you're going to head on I-70 in either direction. Right now ODOT says Authorities are diverting people from those westbound lanes of I-70 to State Route 37 there. So it's affecting people in Hebron as well as Kirkersville and in Etna. Eastbound detour. Folks are being detoured off on 310 from I-70 eastbound. So it kind of differs depending on where you're going. If you want something easier to remember, US-40 is your best bet eastbound or westbound for a detour. But you're going to be slowed down either way. You notice all that red there. Folks are going as slow as 14 miles an hour in that area. Just know you're going to be delayed going to your destination over there in Licking County. Back to you. All right, Gabby, thank you. Our crews are on those scenes, various parts of Central Ohio right now. They're working to get new information by the minute. For the latest, download our free 10TV app or visit 10TV.com and stay right here with 10TV.